Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 11 to Let's Make Rust. So in this episode, um, it might be kind of short, but uh, I just wanted to fix a few bugs. We do have a, a couple bugs in our game. And I also want to add mouse cursor, uh, like so the mouse cursor goes away while we're in the game and shows back up in the pause menu. And I want to tidy up our code, because uh, someone did tell me it looks like spaghetti, and uh, I have to agree. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, first, let's try to tidy up our code. So, um, open up Visual Studio here. And, uh, yeah, I did get a cool a cool new skin uh, for Visual Studio. If you want to get one yourself, uh, I'll include a link in the description to the website I got this off of. If, if you want mine, I guess I'll include a link to that, too. Um, okay, so to fix our spaghetti code, I, I kind of see what he means. So, um, I want to kind of comment things out so let's see check for death method and i'm gonna take all this stuff hunger all this uh hunger check stuff and i'm gonna cut that out and we're gonna make a new method here uh, so like i don't know check stats yeah we'll do check stats we're gonna put that all in here and we're gonna close that and over here, let's see, check stats, uh, check for hunger, thirst, health, etc. And I guess we can do hashtag root. I think you can only do this thing that I'm doing right here in Visual Studio. Uh, might not work if you're using MonoDevelop. Uh, so we're going to do hashtag region. Um, let's see, fill her. Uh, let's see. Hmm. UI bar fill mouth. And then I'm going to do here hashtag end region. There we go. I'll do that. And I'll close that up. Okay, so it's already starting to look kind of cleaner. Respawn um, set health to 100. Set hunger to 100. First. Hmm. Okay, so I'll close that up too, and I'll close these up so it doesn't look so crazy. And yeah, I guess this script does now kind of look a little cleaner uh, when we kind of put everything in, into separate methods like that and we close things up. A little bit more kind of readable. Okay, so let's move on to player detector doesn't really matter too much. I don't think we're really ever going to go in this. I think we're going to delete this script at some point. So um, we're going to move on to actually detecting the player from tags because the, uh, I've realized this method is kind of BS. And um, advanced enemy AI. Here we might want to do some organizing here. So check for player um, is, I don't know, set is, or that. I mean, it says it right there. I guess we don't have to comment. Or whatever. Set chasing true. Um, if chasing and not attacking. Uh, okay. I guess I could close check for player. We're not going to need to see that. Uh, attack. Let's see. Uh, set random damage variable. So... Yeah, that's cool. And this is our raycast, so uh, check for player in raycast. And I guess we could. I don't know if we want to close it. Yeah, let's just close attack. Okay. And think. So. <clears throat> so basically, think if not chasing. I guess we could close that up too. And check for health. Close that up. Take damage. Um. Yeah, th this is fine. Think timer. Okay, we might want to change this up a little bit. This is not really clean. Might want to... Think timer... Think timer always subtracts. An update. Okay. Hmm. I don't want this to be right here. Is this isn't... Here, maybe we could do that. And subtract... Uh, think timer. Okay. 
Update method we could leave open. That's not a big deal. I position vector three. Believe that too, and this stuff is kind of all over the place. So, player, I might put all the scripts to okay. Well, we're only finding one script. This is coming together. Attack time, put that down. Okay, I kind of want this to be structured um, with like public to private, kind of, but if it, like, for example, here, like. Think timer min goes with think timer, so the private would be under it, but I want it to still go in order, so like public to private, so each one goes from public to private. Yet still being in, uh, in this kind of order. And I'm gonna bring up this ray stuff to. Is that already there? Yeah. Bring that here. I don't even know. I think that was already there. Um, player script. Right. Uh, we don't. We don't comp that. Hmm. Okay. So I think this is okay. Uh, shooting system. Uh, I guess we could also do something with that. So uh, damage. Get random damage. Close that. And maybe I'm I'm thinking we should rename this to get damage. Should we do that? So like get damage. Oops, what happened? Cannot type. Okay, great. Let's try that again. Get okay. Well that's not gonna work, whatever. Uh, it doesn't wanna cooperate. So we'll close that I guess. Um Let's see, player detector, miscellaneous food item. Hmm. Okay. Interact. Yeah, we might want to organize this a little bit. Bring this kind of up here. Bring leave all the pub public stuff together. This is public too. And uh, actually, I might like that because. No, because this is not a script. Okay. Uh, in start, player equals game object. Let's see, we're gonna comment here. Um, find the player, oops. Find the player script. Set ray to center of the screen. I guess we don't really need to comment that, uh, for if statements because it's kind of like it's like right there, it's readable. Uh, okay. Hmm. If interact. If food item is detected. Interact. And that shouldn't be there. This should be right there. Do I have insert on? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think this is fine. Interact is fine. Pause manager might be the last thing we... It's kind of like organized okay, so I don't think we need to worry about this. Unpause game. Up here, we're gonna have to organize a little bit. So, okay, and that's fine. Okay, I think we're done with organizing, unless we want to do the melee system, which kind of looks fine. I don't know. Set rate to center of the screen, 
and attack tree. Okay, this all looks fine. Yeah, we don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay, cool. So, I guess now that we kind of organized our code, we can go right ahead and fix something you guys were telling me about some tree bug. Um, I think... I, I don't know, I'll show you what the tree looks like. This is what it looks like. Um, it has the tree health component on it. Uh, we got our capsule collider. It does not have a tag, and it it's default. Uh, you guys were also telling me that uh, it doesn't work in the tree placer. I think for now we're just going to have to um, actually bring in the trees manually from the prefabs. So you just drag in a tree like that instead of actually placing it in the um, with the terrain editor. So. We're gonna have to do that temporarily. And yeah, so just do that instead. Okay, now we're just gonna add the mouse cursor thing. So we're gonna go into scripts, miscellaneous, and I'm gonna put in here cursor manager. We're gonna open that up, load all. Okay, so we're gonna do a private void update. And we're going to want to find the pause manager, so we'll find a private pause manager, pause manager. So in start, we're going to want to find that script. So pause manager is equal to game object, that find game object with tag. And that tag is pause manager. That component. And now we're going to find the script pause manager. Okay, oops, cannot type today. Every time I record this stuff, I can't even type. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I mean. Find pause manager script. Okay, good. Now we're going to do in here if pause manager dot is paused is equal to true. And then we're going to do else if pause manager that is paused is equal to false. Then we're going to, well now we're going to make a couple methods. So we're going to make a private void um, hide lock cursor. And we are going to make another private void show unlock cursor. Okay, so for our hide lock cursor, we're going to do cursor.visible is equal to false. So we're going to hide the mouse cursor. And now we're going to do cursor.lock state is equal to cursor lock mode dot lock. So now we're going to lock the mouse cursor. Okay, so we're going to copy uh, the same thing here. And we're going to do show and unlock. So cursor lock mode dot, uh, none, and we're going to do over here uh, cursor dot visible is true. Okay, cool. So now we're going to close these up, and over here if pause manager that is paused is true. So if we're paused, we're going to show and unlock cursor. Otherwise, we're going to hide and unlock cursor. Okay, cool. So we can now uh, uh, see. See if that works. Let's go test it out. Um, I'm actually going to make a separate uh, object here, and I'll call this cursor manager, and I'll bring that script in. Just it, just because OCD, and start it up. Oops, we have a few problems. With pause man. Okay, well we were unable to find a pause manager. Pause manager does not have a tag. Okay fooled myself. Pause and and we will now assign that. Okay, so we'll hit play and now we can see the cursor now we don't. See the cursor, now we don't. Okay, so that works out pretty well, if you ask me. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We just fixed a few bugs and uh, 
did the mouse cursor. That's all I really wanted to get accomplished this episode. Uh, next one, we're gonna probably do a gun model, because a lot of people are asking for that, and I think that's pretty cool if we make our own models too. So yeah, we're gonna make our own gun model, probably some pistol, uh, next episode. Uh, not gonna get too advanced, uh, so yeah, um, it, it'll probably look something like this, I'll show on screen, so yeah. Uh, okay, thank you guys for watching, and be sure to subscribe, uh, leave a like if you like the video, and have a good one.